there's a very sort of bonfire slash sort of musky sort of smoky smell in the air and it reminds me of like bonfire night and shit like that it's like Halloween tomorrow so so yes Halloween can't wait for bonfire night I actually can't where I live there's like loads of like pubs and all these pubs have like fireworks and bonfires and stuff so I usually sort of hop around each one and drink and just have a good time I really enjoy it I really enjoy it um yeah it feels strange doing this again it's been a while I just want to apologize for that to kick this video off uh fuck it to kick this video off I want to apologize for the wait uh it's kind of dark now I was, I was aiming to set off so it would be like quite light but that uh failed whoa but that failed so it's kind of dark but uh well, some people don't even watch my videos for the video, they watch it just for the voice, just for like a podcast sort of thing. So, to some of you, it won't even, uh, it won't even apply. Um, reasons I've been aware, not excuses. Um, I've had quite a lot of personal things going on. Not personal in a sense of like, strictly can't speak about it, it's just personal as in like, uh, I'm, I've been like visit visiting university open days and stuff. Uh, cause I'm looking at going to uni uh, driving lessons uh, I had an operation on my foot again practically at the exact same time as I did last year if you've been here since I started uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same as what happened last year uh, if you've been here since I started uh, tell me what I had done try and guess figure it out if not you can go back and check but yeah I had that done um just personal stuff just been get sort of getting in the way which is which has been awful because I've probably wanted to like get out but I, sometimes it get to the point where it'd be too dark to go out um, I've actually got a slow puncture in my front tire which has vastly turned into a fast puncture which goes down like every 10 minutes or so <laughs> so this might make a good video for a crash video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like it goes it goes that flat, you can sort of feel the wheel inside the tire when you push down. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, I'm gonna try and aim to get that fixed soon. Uh yeah. Now a while back I spoke about I was doing some sort of brand brand deal slash review thing. Um, the thing that I'm doing a review on is the jacket I am wearing now. Um, there's not going to be any pictures or videos of the jacket in this video. I'm going to make a video dedicated to uh, the products and stuff. It wasn't just a jacket, they sent me a pair of boots as well. The company is called Get Geared. I will link their, I'll link their shop down in the description. But um, I'm not going to talk too much about it. But I'm just, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. It's comfy. It's really comfy. Uh, it's very, it's, it's, it's like solid. It's solid. You know for a fact if you fall off, this is going to protect you. It's, honestly, it's really comfy. It's like, it's, it's, it's very fitted. It's very fitted. It like, it's fitted in a sense, it's not too tight, but in a way that the tightness keeps the warmth in. So you can be riding on a cold night and this will this will still keep you warm. And that's a selling point for me because warmth is key on a bike. It's also waterproof. And I was I was wearing it the other day and it, it started like really throwing it down. And like my trousers, you could bring my trousers out, they got that wet, but my jacket and my top, because of the jacket was fine. <laughs> that made my day more pleasant. Nice. Oh, nice! Oh, look at them lights. I want, I want like a sort of like a touring bike, like a big bulky thing. One day, one day. Um, talk about universities. Uh, I went to look at universities every day. 
Well, I've been for like, the past couple of weeks actually, just like looking around. Uh, what I'm wanting to do at photo uh, not <laughs> what I'm wanting to do at university is photography. Um, a bachelor's a bachelor on a I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm wanting to do photography. Uh, it's what I've always wanted to do. Well, it's what I've always wanted to do since GCSE. Because uh, I, I had like no interest in it before GCSE, but I do now. So I've been looking at them courses and uh, one university I've been to look. Well, I've been to look at two. <laughs> I'm going to look at one on the 12th of November. Uh, but the most recent one and the one that stood out the most to me was definitely at Huddersfield University. The equipment they have and the facilities for photography, the studios, it's just amazing. Oh, confuse me then. It's just amazing, honestly. The amount of equipment they have and all the cameras and stuff, it's incredible. It just makes me excited. And the accommodation, oh my god, the accommodation is insane. Like the rooms, they're perfect sizes, the kitchens, perfect sizes, it's just Oh, is, is this a ped or bike? Ooh, look like a Harley? Um, but everything about Huddersfield University it just, it just flows. It just seems perfect. I'm going to close my visor because uh, I can't see anything, but I feel like the wind noise is going to be bad, so I'm going to risk my sight for video quality. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, yeah, I've been looking at universities. Bloody hell, on a corner. It will rile my ass as well. Sorry, that must have been well for wind noise. I've also been doing um, driving lessons. Uh, they're going well. Driving lessons are going really well. Um, I had to have a little bit of a break though because of my operation on my foot. Uh, try and figure it out. I'm sure you can. But my, uh, my theory test is booked for the 14th of November. So wish me luck on that. If any of you have uh, done your driving test or passed your driving test or passed your theory test, let me know how it went and let me know how you found it. Give me some tips apart from revised because I'm, I, am, I, am, I am revising for it. Which is different because I like never revise. Oh, oh they've just like repaved this this roundabout area and it's the best thing ever it's so 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 smooth uh, one of the things I've been wanting to look at uh, a university is architecture uh, because I love architecture like I, just, I don't know why I mean I don't love like the physics side of it I just love like building my own sort of like little models and stuff uh, it's what I'm doing in my art level I'm building like little, little miniature models, houses and stuff like architecture stuff and I just really enjoy it so I, would, I like, I've been looking into it but I, I apparently need like your physics GCSE and stuff and sadly I didn't get that and you know it's just all these complications that don't allow you to do things you want but a thing that I'm looking at in my art A level is uh, Sims 4. Sims 4, the game, yeah. I sit in lesson and I literally just play on Sims 4. <laughs> I mean, I don't like get married and have a baby and go to work and stuff. I build houses. Now, believe it or not, Sims 4, or any Sims for that matter, is amazing for like the building, so, like, the building side of it. If you look on YouTube and type in like Sims 4 house build, m thousands, hundreds of thousands of results come up because there's just there's YouTubers dedicated to like Sims stuff and Sims building and stuff. And it's like this more vlog thing. I never knew about it until I sort of searched it or came across it. And that's probably like inspiring me to do my own sort of builds. And I'm building a lot of things in Sims, like modern houses sort of stuff for my artwork. And it's really like, I want to sort of show it off, so it's made me want to sort of 
ask you if you'd if you'd ever be like interested in sort of seeing that sort of thing. This road is completely pitch black, so I'm, I'm, you can't see anything now. Oh yeah, for all the questions, I have got my full beam lights on, and I can see practically to the top of the road. It's just the video quality that dims my lights down. Well, I can see everything because my lights full beam off. I can see, I can still see full beam on. I can see everything. It's just the video quality that really dims down my lights. So for everyone that was asking me if I have lights or telling me I need to turn my lights on, they were on. Don't worry. Uh, my lights do work. It's just the video. It really dampens them down and sort of mutes them, kind of. I don't know. It's sort of basically why they're not on, but they are. I see this blue light here, when I'm covering up now, that indicates that my full beam's on. Well, there's a lot of stuff on this little dashboard thing, you know. For people who are thinking to get a scooter, when this car goes past, I'll... I'll show you. I just don't want to confuse him. Right, so here, this dashboard. The, the speed on the thing doesn't usually light up, that only lights up when my lights are turned on. See? Off. Lights on. So that's how you can tell my lights are on. Um, the little blue light now, that's full beam, full beam on, full beam off, on, off, there on. Um, there's a little light next to it, and it uh, flashes green, and that's your indicator. And it flashes green for both ways, it's not like arrows you get in a car. Um, and it, it stays on, and it doesn't go off until you turn your indicator off. Like in a car, in my driving lessons, I've always been turning it off manually. And my driving instructor said, why, why are you turning it off? It goes off automatically. And I'm like, oh yeah. Because I'm so used to turning it off on my bike manually. I forget that it does it automatically. Which I guess is good because I know to always turn it off. Um, underneath, uh, these lights are on at the minute because I'm fully topped up. There's a fuel light and an oil light. When the, when you need fuel, uh, the, the fuel light lights up orange, and when you need oil, the oil light lights up red. Is this guy, is this guy following me? Oh god. I'm gonna go slow, he's gonna overtake me, look at that view. Never mind, he overtook me straight away. It's, probably, it's a shame because you probably can't see that view. Um, sorry, where was I at? Yeah, Sims 4. Architecture. I've been building a lot, I've been playing a lot of it, I've been really getting like into it. And it's made me want to like, sort of bring it into the channel. I don't know. You can come. See, I'm nice. See, getting a car, I can't wait to get a car. Just to drive like, people around. And like, oh, just to drive people around and stuff and like, it saves my mum, like my parents and my girlfriend's parents having to pick her up and drop her off all the time and pick me up and stuff. It's alright for me because I can just like ride around everywhere but if I have a car, I can, we can go on drives and stuff. But the one thing I'm going to miss is the space, like, two bikes could have fit through that gap. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, Two bikes can fit for that gap, leaving, like, t a lot of space, let's just say. It's very muggy out tonight. I don't know if no, you will be able to see it, but it's very, like, misty. Not, not, it's like, well, it's like smoke. It's very smoky out tonight. Um, bikes can go for that gap, leaving a lot of space. There would be a lot of space left at that, uh, that road. But two cars, one's got to wait for the other one to come through. And it just takes time. Like, I went to the shop the other day. And I was, I was parked up, and, uh, what was I saying? I was parked up in a car, so I pulled in, and there was a big hold-up of cars waiting to park up. But I sort of, like, just went in between them all, and got out, while everyone else was waiting. And I was been sat there for at least five, for a, like, at least five minutes. I mean, five minutes doesn't sound long, but it is when you just sat waiting. And it made me realise, like, how much... I'm gonna miss my bike, but I'm still keeping it, so that's that's not a big issue. I'm still keeping it, I'm still gonna ride it, I'm still gonna make videos, I'm still like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let go. I'm never gonna let go. <laughs> um Right. In, right, so back to the Sims, back to like Sims. 
it made me sort of want to like show my like show it off and it made me like sort of wonder should I make like some sort of sims video I mean would you would you like be into that I mean I've, I've always always said I want to introduce some sort of new media to my channel uh, some sort of gaming stuff. So I was thinking, do I introduce it to the channel and do like a little sort of separate series, or do I make a new channel? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do because I, I kind of want to do it. But the question is, will you like it or not? And I'm not going to do it based on the fact of you like it. Or not. I'm going to do it because I want to do it, sort of thing. Don't do that the wrong way, but like, I'm not going to sort of base my channel around what people want to see I'm gonna base it around what I want what I want you to see so I think if you get what I'm saying but I just want to know like for this for this one time <laughs> for this one time if you don't want to see it I won't do it that's just fair because I'm not I'm not dying to do it take a seat uh, but if you would like to see it then I will I will happily happily do it Happily. So like, I've always wanted to do some kind of like photography sort of videos, and you lot have always said you'd want to see some sort of photography videos. Some of you even say like, you don't care what sort of videos I do, you just want to watch me, which is s such a compliment, to be honest. <laughs> but I just want your opinion. So it's like gaming videos. Would you want to see some sort of gaming videos? On The Sims 4 or anything for that matter, just let me know more about games, biking games, COD, <laughs> anything. Uh, if you want to see some some sort of gaming videos, let me know. Speaking of gaming, wow, the Battlefield One trailer, Jesus, wow, EA have really sold Battlefield One to me. Honestly, that trailer is fucking incredible. Like, the music is just perfect, the whole trailer is just perfect. It shows me what I want to see. Everything about that trailer is so perfect. I'll, I'll link it in the description below. Honestly, if you haven't seen the new Battlefield 1 trailer, check it out. I, I must have watched it at least like seven times today. Like, the launch trailer. Watch the launch trailer, I'll get that in the description. Like, the music is just so perfect for it. And, oh wow, it's just, honestly, it's amazing, it is definitely worth, like, 1 minute 20 of your time. Oh, it's so good, it makes me want it so bad. I've been playing a lot more, a lot more games recently, like, on my Xbox and stuff, I've, I've been playing a lot more games, like, Forza, uh, Need for Speed I've been playing quite a lot, I don't know why. But I used to play it, like, every night and every day, but I sort of drifted away, but I sort of come back to it a bit now. It's a good like stress relief sort of thing. Yeah, so if you would like to see any of uh, that, like Sims 4 gaming, anything, let me know. Just let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel. And also, give me some uh, some topics you'd like me to talk about because I'm running a bit dry. Like if you've got any queries about about bikes, or if you've got any queries about riding a 50cc or anything, or whether you should get a bike. Let me know. I broke down here. No, I was I was I was going up here to film a video with my tripod. And as I got halfway up this hill my tripod fell apart. And it sort of all rolled down this road and I had to sort of like stop to pick it up. There was cars waiting for me, it was like really embarrassing but the cars, were, the, the cars, the people in the cars were all right about it. They were nice about it. But Jesus, it was such like it was such a palaver. It was such a palaver. God.